Hey everyone, welcome to the day four and episode four of this series. So if you remember yesterday, we were talking about uh, a situation where the market goes down a little bit, but the Apple goes up. And this actually played out today, surprisingly, and we ended up being in that situation. But one of the things that I am feeling is that I feel that overall the market is gonna start maybe maybe making, making some corrections soon. So like uh, what, what I did today, the first thing I did to drop our Apple position, like we made a little bit of money, not a lot, obviously, it's just a couple of dollars really, but uh, you know, I just wanted to kind of get rid of that position because I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable about it. I feel like, you know, there's a bit of a more downturn. I don't think there's going to be a market crash or anything like that, but like maybe a bit of a correction coming up. So we just want to be ready for it. And we're kind of loading up on short positions a little bit. So we're just trying to assume that again, that is going to be the perspective that's going to happen, especially with the uh, PC report coming up uh, on Friday. So again, just you know watching out for it so this is the first trade of the day where we ended up getting rid of our apple position so we are in a situation where the market is down as you see the s triple q has gone up that means that the market is going down a little bit and also our short on spy spy is also has gone up so that means that again uh we kind of predicted this a little bit for a bit of recovery but one thing that i'm seeing is that you know we see apple here right obviously our apple position is up and this is exactly what we wanted it and i'm like happy that this actually turned out but one of the things is that when i'm looking at the apple here uh the momentum is really not that strong so one of the things i'm seeing money flow is not that strong and also the volume here is also about to die so i'd rather not take ri this risk um, we're just gonna exit our apple position also gonna look at it with golden slope the momentum i mean there's a buy uh, icon buy signal here but i just don't feel good about it i think there is like it's one of these situations where things can turn out you know because we pass through the sell block here and we're not pushing strong uh, usually because you know one of the things that you want to see is that if if you pass through a sub block that's basically a resistance uh, you know if you continue going up that usually is a good sign but we're kind of going back down so one of the things i want to do is that i want to let's look at the, the edge terminals but well, there you go see there's a bit of bounce back also with the ai that we check um so what i want to do is since we're in the green a little bit i mean it's not a lot of money but like it's just a couple dollars we're gonna exit this okay and this is gonna be our first trade of the day because when we do this let me just get out of this trade real quick uh, so we're just gonna sell our apple shares there you go so basically with this what we did was we're fully getting into shorting the market and um, this is kind of the scenario i'm thinking that is going to play out um you know also it's end of the march usually this is if there is a you know downturn in the market it usually starts um in by end of the march because that's usually how it is uh, statistically at least but we'll see and after that the next thing we did was to actually look out for another position so we want to do a semiconductor bear position and basically again this is kind of the you know position the short position that you take on a semiconductor uh, stocks and things like that so we just want to kind of you know short that a little bit as well because i believe that industry is a little bit overbought I, again i don't think there's anything wrong with it i don't think there's gonna be a crash i just think there's a bit of an overbought like situation there and we can you know use that and that is the idea with it so this is something that i've been keeping an eye on we didn't end up taking a position but we just been keeping an eye on it and to see like if there's any uh, positions any opportunities that are coming along and this is something that happened all right guys so another interesting thing that is happening is that this is a position that we want to pick up this is the 3x semiconductor short position as you see we're you know we're loading up on some short stuff short positions so um one of the things that is happening is that with the semiconductor bear um, you know, this is something I wanted to get in and, and I, I've been looking for the right position, right time to actually enter this. And the thing is, if you take a look, something interesting is happening today. You know, um, so if you take a look, we're actually, this is a, you know, buy block, okay? 
and we're passing through this buy block we're going down here so usually when that happens as i said buy blocks are you know acting as a support level and when you you know go below that support level generally it's a good idea uh, to wait a little bit so this is what we're going to do we're passing through this buy block we're going down this is a support level so we're going to be a little bit patient with it and hopefully we're going to find a way to uh, you know uh, find a way to get in here uh, so golden slope is showing a little bit of downturn here so you know this is another thing i'm watching out today as the market is closing and another thing with this is that the money flow is going to neutral but the volume is slowing down so again it's just there's a lot of contradicting stuff right now so we're just gonna be patient with it and see how how this goes because again this is one of those positions that we want to get in thank you so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful hopefully we're going to make some bigger trades especially we're going to get into deeper and deeper into short positions in the next coming days so hopefully they play out well let me know if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions by the way if you want to use my indicators the link is in the description you can check it out for yourself thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next video